Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create blurry text that comes into full focus when you hover over it with your cursor. A great example of this is if you have a quiz or a Q&A section of your website and you want to slightly hide the text of the answer until someone hovers over it. That's exactly what we're gonna do with code today. Now let's hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I have sample text in an H2, an H3, as well as active paragraph text with a link. So this code underneath it all right here, this is what we're going to be using today. I have pasted the code in the description beneath this video, but let's walk through it step by step so you know what parts you're going to want to change. Okay, now I'm going to copy this whole thing and I'm going to head on over to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where I'm going to paste that code. And you'll notice my H2 has already become blurry unless I hover over it with my cursor. Check that out. Pretty cool, right? So what we've done with this code is we've said H2 or the heading to text type, make it transparent, but give it a shadow and give it a one second transition back to normal. So it's not just going to snap back as soon as I'm not hovering over it anymore. Now underneath that, we've got a new line of code here where it says, take that H2, but on a hover, make it a solid color, remove that shadow, and give me a second to see that transition, okay? So let's uh, play around with this. I'll change the color to purple, for example, and let's see what happens when we change that. Now it's purple text, and now it's not. We can do the same with the shadow up here too. If we want it to be uh, a lot darker, for example, we can just make that a solid black, so it's gonna be like really fuzzy. And then as soon as we hover over it, it goes back to that purple. Now, what about the other types of text? All I have to do is change H2 to an H3 in that first line of code and that second one. And now we'll get the same effect for that type of text. Or I could even change this to the letter A and we can have this apply to the active link within our text. Check it out. Hovered, not hovered. Hovered and not. So let's break down this code together one last time. The very first part of the code, you need to identify the type of text that you're working with. In my example, I used an H2, an H3, and the letter A for my active link. Now after that, I've set the color to transparent, and I've given it a shadow to create that blurred effect. Definitely play around with those values so they look awesome for you. And then I left the transition at one second. You can change that to 0.5 seconds to be really short or five seconds to be really long or remove it to make it instant, okay? Now after that, our next line of code is the hover effect. You need to repeat the type of text that you're using and then add the word hover. From there, you can change the color of the text. We need to reset that because it's at transparent. So we need to reset the color to a web safe color name like purple or a hex color code, whatever you'd like to use. And then after that, we set the text shadow to none. So that blur is completely gone. I also added a transition of one second so it doesn't just snap into the way that it was before. Definitely change that if you change the first one to half a second or five seconds, whatever you're comfortable with. Anywho, nice quick tutorial for today, and the codes I used are listed in the description below, so you can just copy and paste those into your own site, editing to match the site style that you're going for. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.